Hello and thank you so much for clicking on my video. Welcome to my channel, Lovely Moments Creating. If this is your first time here, consider joining the family by hitting that subscribe button and remembering the notification bell so that you'll be reminded when I upload a video. My name is Jenny and on this channel I create budget-friendly home decor that's easy to do. So if you want to see some of my creations, keep watching. Thanks again so much for tuning in and watching today's video. Today's video is about the home decor owls at the Dollar Tree. I have seen a lot more decor pieces, even better quality pieces, since the Dollar Tree went up to $1.25. And that's a good thing because you can find some really cute pieces that you like and you may just have to switch the color up or switch the style up maybe remove something or add something so it can fit your decor but it just makes crafting so much easier and you can have something um, really nice for your home so i'm just browsing the owls looking for pieces that i really like but just want to change up a little bit I noticed the Dollar Tree has put out a lot of more different calendar holders, which I absolutely love. And I love this home sweet home sign. It's nice and sturdy, but it do need a little bit more to it or maybe just change the color. And there have been a lot of more frames I noticed that the Dollar Tree has put out. And I think these particular frames would be good around the holiday to create some really nice photos. So what I'm going to do is get into the first DIY using that home sweet home sign that I really do like. What I like about this sign is nice and sturdy. I like the little attachment and I like the beads. But I do need to switch this up to fit my decor. So what I'm going to do first is remove this attachment. I want to be really careful because I am going to add this back. So I'm just going to pull it up and then I'll pull up the glue uh, that held it together. I'm going to use this wave light -like color chalk paint. It's a really pretty green color. And I'm going to use this to paint um, this entire piece except the wood beads. I hope everyone had a great weekend so far. Um, it's been pretty good for us over here. My son had the homecoming dance he went to last night that he wasn't going to go to at first. He's been participating in a lot of things at school and he's been really tired but he decided to go so I thought that was great um, the seasons change so my allergies are flaring up but I am taking what I need to take so it's not as bad as it has been or can be so I am happy and thankful for that my younger son he was a little disappointed because he wanted to go to the homecoming game with my son but they said junior high kids wasn't allowed so he stayed home and he was a little disappointed but I heard him up there chatting with his friends and so most of his friends have older siblings that goes to the school my son goes to and so <laughs> they all just was able to chat about not being able to attend the homecoming dance so <laughs> this is how it looks now and this little wreath piece I did get this off a another Dollar Tree um, sign that I had. I usually save all of my attachments that I pull off Dollar Tree signs because you can always use those for future projects. And I did pick up two of these because I do want to create a Christmas version of this and make a really cute Christmas wreath to go on here. So I did pick up two. I do have this garland here, this um wired garland with the a little berry garland and I'm just going to take a piece of this and wrap it around the wreath as well like I said earlier I think this home sign was really cute but I wanted to give it more of a high-end look and something more of my style um, I didn't really like the black color and I just wanted to add a little of course, I wanted to add some greenery to this um, home sign because I love my greenery. And so now I'm just going to take some hot glue and attach it right back um, where it was never there. <laughs> attach it to the um, O of the home. And then I'm going to attach the little home suite 
sign right on the top of it. And I'm just going to use hot glue for that part. And that will be all I'm going to be doing for this piece. I think it came out cute. I absolutely love it. It fits perfect with some other decor that I have in my home. I was so happy to find these really cute candle holders in a Dollar Tree. I love the greenery and the floral prints on them. And these are the little um, candle holders that the Dollar Tree always have. So what I'm going to do is just flip these taller candle holders over because I am going to attach the other ones right to the bottom of these because this is now going to be the top portion, if that makes sense. And so I don't know if you can see how pretty these candle holders are with the bowls on them but they're perfect for um, my decor so I am using some fix-all glue from the Dollar Tree along with some hot glue because I want to keep these nice and sturdy and so I'm just going to add my glue and attach my other um, candle holder on the top I think these are so cute um, it really elevated these candles and I'm going to show you how I'm going to style them. So I did take some little tea lights from the Dollar Tree and add them and I added them to the bottom as you can see and then I just added some regular little tea candles to the top and these are so adorable. The Dollar Tree always have these little cute milk jugs. They just be different colors. And this one have the word home sweet home on it. But of course I didn't want it pink. But I absolutely love these little milk jugs. So I'm using that same color wave light paint. And I'm going to paint this entire piece. I'm going to paint it inside and outside. Just to give it a nice um, high end look to it. And I am going to paint over that home sweet home. Um, I'm going to paint the whole thing. Like I said, I don't need any of the pink or anything showing. I want to get this one solid color. I am going to be styling some greenery in this little jug that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. They have these fall grass picks that I really love. And I also found some other greeneries that I had in my stash. And so... What I'm going to do is be using two of these picks here, and I ended up using one of the other ones. I just wanted this to be nice and full, and I'm just pushing the stamps up so I can get that full look. And for these, I'm going to cut these down uh, because the stamps are pretty long on these. Now, the Dollar Tree usually always have those other picks, and I think they just put these fall grass picks out during the season so I'm just bending the stem I'm not going to add any filler or anything and I'm just going to fluff everything out and that will be it for this just a simple way to upgrade one of those jugs they do come in different colors and they have different sayings on them but I just wanted to keep it one solid color because I think it looks great Simple ways to just take some Dollar Tree home decor and just change it up a little bit to give it a nice high-end look or just a look that fits your style.
the Dollar Tree always have these little signs with the bead hanger and I absolutely love these so I'm going to change this up a little bit I am taking some white paint to cover up the words and I'm going to give it two coats letting it dry in between each coat what I like about painting these the inside is that because it's not real wood if you get any paint on that frame it is so easy to wipe off so I didn't have to tape off anything I just went straight in with the white paint and two coats gave me a good enough coverage now what I'm going to do is be using some Dollar Tree transfer stickers I have these words and I cut out two words and then I have this Dollar Tree transfer reef I absolutely love these these are some of my favorite stickers from the Dollar Tree and I'm just going to place this reef right in the inside and just transfer it over now these frames are really looks good as is and so it if you just change it up a little bit to fit your decor i think this is a perfect piece and i do believe dollar tree start putting these out for um, the different seasons i'm not sure i believe i seen them in a different style besides fall so I'm just making sure that my reef transfers over nicely and then I'm going to add my words and I did um, cut out the words family and memories and I'm just going to place family right to the side and I'm going to add memories right next to it. And that, that's all I'm going to do to this piece. I think this was really simple, but it looks um, so much better. It was it was really cute, but it looks so much better for um, my decor. I just grabbed what I had handy, which is a pair of scissors, to just rub over the transfer. And that will be it for this piece. I think it came out so cute. So for this next piece, I always see these little animal bases in the Dollar Tree. I think these are so cute to style around your home with succulents or just some different florals. Or you can add a little um, lead candle in the inside. But it's always the color. I think what I'm going to do is just use this black chalk paint to give this a full coverage uh, to make it look more high end sitting around the home. I think if you just do one solid color I think this will elevate this piece so what I'm going to do is give it two coats um, letting it dry in between each coat I actually used these before and painted them some Christmas colors like red and green and I styled some poinsettias in them and I think they were really cute for the holiday so now what I'm going to do is just take a piece of jute cord to tie it around the neck to give it a nice little simple bow and then from Walmart I got this 97 cent pick that I am going to pull out and I'm going to pull some of the leaves off to add right in the inside so Walmart did put out a lot of pretty picks um, this season and for 97 cent it's cheaper than a Dollar Tree and you can just pull off the pieces that you want to use um, if there's other pieces on there that you didn't like because that's what I'm going to do and then I'm just going to add you know the different leaves and the greeneries right in the inside and that will be it for this and I think this is just a cute way to style some greenery or some succulents around your home Thank you all again for tuning in and watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed this video just as much as I did. If so, please remember to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel because I would love to have you here. As always, in the comment section below, let me know which one of these DIYs were your favorite. And remember, if you're at the Dollar Tree, just browse through the home decor section and find you some pieces that you like. It's so much um 
easier crafting, you know, instead of having to uh, put so many different things together, find something that you like and change it up a little bit to fit your decor. And I think you will absolutely love it. I hope you got some inspiration from today's video. Until next time, my friends, stay safe so that I can see you in the next video.